Hello friends. So in this particular video, I'm going to discuss a few more important terminologies of fuzzy logic and that is lambda cut or alpha cut as well as strong lambda cut. So first of all, let me discuss what lambda cut or alpha cut is. It is a diversification method. Okay, that means we have two specific uh, type of sets here. One is fuzzy set, another is crisp set. In crisp set, we generally contain all values which are clear by nature. And uh, in fuzzy set, we generally contain the values which are completely not clear, in which we are having some doubt that is it will be 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9 or 1 uh, or 0. But in crisp set, we exactly uh, convey the information that the value should either be 0 or 1. So uh, we have the concept of conversion of crisp set into fuzzy sets and we have another way by which we can convert the fuzzy set into crisp set. So defuzzification is the process by which we can convert fuzzy sets into crisp set and alpha cut and lambda cut are basically a method by which we can do this uh, means we can convert a, a fuzzy set into crisp set. Okay, so what it do basically, how it uh, basically convert the fuzzy set into crisp set. So in this method, fuzzy set A, we have a fuzzy set A that we want to convert into crisp set A lambda. For a given value of lambda, that will be either 0 or equal, means lambda will less than or equal to 0 or, sorry, less than or equal to 1 or greater than or equal to 0. Right, so lambda's value will be in between 0 and 1. So in other words, what we can say A lambda is X. X is a member of fuzzy set where the membership value of that X should always be greater than or equal to lambda. Right. So in that case, the new set that will be generated, that will be called a lambda set or alpha cat set. Now let's see an example of this one. We have a set A1 that is having some specific elements in it x1, x2, x3, x4 with specific values 0 0.9, 0 0.5, 0 0.2 and 0 0.3. So as, as per the definition, if you want to convert this fuzzy set into crisp set, so uh, using alpha cut method, so what we will do, we generally will find uh, all the elements who are having membership value uh, greater than or equal to, to the alpha value. So what is the alpha value in this case is a 0.6. So 0.6 is the lambda or alpha value for which we have to convert a crisp set. So as per the definition, which element should be uh, converted or which element should be kept in the new set, all those who are having value greater than or equal to 0.6. So 0.9 is true in this case, 0.5 is false in this case, 0.2 is false, 0.3 is false because all these are having value less than 0.6. Only 0.9 is a value that is having value greater than 0.6. So x1 is here. In the new set that will be generated, that will contain only one element that is x1. Same, we have another example of set A2, fuzzy set A2 that is having these x2, x3, x4 and 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 0 0.8, 0 0.7. Now the lambda value here is 0.2. So all the elements who are having values, membership values as greater than or equal to 0 0.2, they will contain in a new set. Okay. And then 0.5 is here. That contains true value. 0 0.8 is true. 0 0.7 is true. So the new set now will have three elements in it. X2, X3, X4. Only X1 is not there because it is having value less than 0 0.2. So uh, this is what alpha cut or lambda cut set is. Same we have strong alpha cut or strong lambda cut. The definition is only differed by the way that in alpha cut or lambda cut we are seeing all those elements who are having values greater than or equal to the alpha value. But here we are removing equal to. We are only taking the values who are strictly greater than the specified value. So A lambda will now be x where membership value of that x will strictly greater than lambda. So in that case, the new set that will be generated will be called strong alpha cut or strong lambda cut. So guys, this is enough for this video tutorial. In upcoming tutorial, we are going to discuss what bandwidth, symmetry, open and close fuzzy sets are. So till then, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.